Goshen High Tech specializes in the power lithium battery business, leading global energy storage development and the transformation of energy structures. In the past five years, battery chemistry has made notable strides in terms of performance and efficiency. However, we still have the same problems we've always had, range and affordability. But Elon Musk believes that we have just had a breakthrough that will completely change the industry forever. With this new development, we are taking a huge step towards affordable EVs with revolutionary battery chemistry advances that will allow fast charging, extended range, and most importantly, lower cost. Join us as we look at the new LMFP battery and how it could change the EV world forever. In 2022, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, highlighted the potential of batteries with a manganese-based cathode. This interest was initially mentioned by Musk during Tesla's Battery Day event in 2020. More recently, during the opening ceremony of Tesla's first European factory, Giga Berlin, in March 2022, Musk reiterated the importance of focusing on the battery supply chain, starting from the minerals used in their production. Musk expressed concerns about the complexity involved in manufacturing batteries using graphene, a material that had garnered attention in the industry. Instead, he emphasized the use of alternative materials, such as manganese, as a potential solution. By exploring different chemistries and materials for battery production, Tesla aims to improve the efficiency, performance, and cost-effectiveness of their electric vehicles. The current generation of lithium-ion batteries used in electric cars often relies on cobalt, a blue-gray metal that helps enhance the battery's power capacity while ensuring safety. However, cobalt comes with its challenges. It is expensive, and its mining often takes place in politically unstable regions. As the demand for energy storage continues to grow, there is a push to find battery chemistries that reduce or eliminate the need for cobalt. In this pursuit, researchers at the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory are working on a technology centered around manganese, which happens to be one of the most abundant metals on Earth. The project, funded by the DOE's Vehicle Technologies Office, aims to develop battery technologies that can be applied not only in electric vehicles, but also in other sectors, like the electric grid. Battery storage is crucial in grid applications to manage variable energy resources such as wind and solar power. By utilizing manganese-based chemistries, the researchers hope to create more sustainable and cost-effective energy storage solutions for a wide range of industries. Other companies are beginning to realize that manganese might be the way to go. And now, Goshen, one of China's top battery makers, reckons it has cracked a technology to provide even cheaper and more powerful packs for electric vehicles. Goshen recently unveiled a lithium iron manganese phosphate battery, LMFP for short, which it says will power an EV for 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles on each charge. As the interest in manganese-based batteries continues to grow, various companies are starting to explore its potential as a viable alternative in the electric vehicle industry. Goshen, one of China's prominent battery manufacturers, has recently made significant strides in this direction, claiming to have developed a groundbreaking technology that could revolutionize the EV market by delivering cheaper and more powerful battery packs. Goshen has unveiled a lithium iron manganese phosphate LMFP battery, a specific type of manganese-based chemistry. This innovative battery chemistry is believed to offer substantial advantages over traditional cobalt-dependent batteries such as increased energy density and improved cost-effectiveness. According to Goshen, their LMFP batteries have achieved an impressive milestone, powering an electric vehicle for a remarkable distance of 1,000 kilometers, 621 miles, on a single charge. This range is a significant achievement that can potentially alleviate one of the primary concerns for EV drivers, range anxiety. By providing extended driving distances, Goshen's battery technology could contribute to wider adoption of electric vehicles by alleviating concerns regarding limited range and the need for frequent recharging. Goshen has introduced an innovative approach by incorporating manganese into the existing lithium iron phosphate chemistry, which has already gained commercial success in China and is utilized by major electric vehicle manufacturers like BYD and Tesla to reduce costs for certain models. The integration of manganese into the LFP chemistry allows for significant advancements in power and energy density. The improvements in LFP technology have already played a crucial role in driving its widespread adoption due to its cost-effectiveness and smaller form factor. 
Traditionally, LFP batteries have been limited in terms of energy density, reaching a ceiling of around 191 watt-hours per kilogram. However, Goshen's new battery technology has the potential to achieve a remarkable energy density of 240 watt-hours per kilogram. This increase in energy density means that each battery cell can store more energy, resulting in a reduced overall weight and size of the battery pack. The ability to store more energy in a smaller package is a game-changer for the EV industry. It enables manufacturers to design lighter and more compact battery packs without compromising the driving range or performance of electric vehicles. This advancement is significant as it not only improves the overall efficiency and range of EVs, but also provides greater flexibility in designing electric vehicles with enhanced aesthetics and practicality. Goshen, a company listed in Shenzhen and boasting Volkswagen Group as its largest shareholder, has ambitious expectations for its LMFP battery. According to Chang, the company anticipates that the LMFP battery will cost approximately 5% less than conventional lithium iron phosphate batteries in terms of dollars per kilowatt hour. This cost advantage positions the LMFP battery to be notably more affordable compared to nickel cobalt batteries, potentially offering a cost reduction of as much as 20% to 25%. This significant price difference makes the LMFP chemistry an attractive alternative for car manufacturers looking to reduce production costs without compromising on performance. By adopting the LMFP chemistry, manufacturers have the opportunity to replace some of the nickel-cobalt cells in their battery packs. The LMFP batteries offer comparable performance to nickel-cobalt batteries, but at a lower cost and with enhanced safety features. This combination of cost-effectiveness, performance, and safety makes the LMFP chemistry a compelling choice for car manufacturers. Cheng believes that Goshen's LMFP battery technology will be highly appealing to automakers, and he predicts that numerous companies in the industry will follow this trend. LMFP technology is not new. However, traditionally, these cells have not been widely used in electric vehicle applications due to certain technical challenges. These challenges include low conductivity, high temperature dissolution, and low energy density. However, Goshen claims that its new battery, known as Astroino, has successfully overcome these technical hurdles associated with LMFP batteries. By incorporating manganese into the chemistry, Goshen's batteries offer improved conductivity, reduced high temperature dissolution, and higher energy density compared to standard LFP batteries. Victoria Hugel, a battery research analyst at the London-based consultancy Row Motion, recognizes the potential of Goshen's manganese added cells. She believes that these cells will create real opportunities for LMFP batteries to compete with NCM chemistry in terms of energy density. She said, Goshen's manganese added cells will create a real opportunity to compete with some NCM chemistries where standard LFP struggles to compete on energy density. She also said that LMFP could take a 6% market share by 2040, likely surpassing other emerging options like sodium ion batteries. According to Cheng, Goshen aims to commence mass production of its Astroino batteries as early as the second quarter of next year. The batteries have already successfully passed safety tests, indicating that they have met the required safety standards for commercial use. Goshen plans to manufacture the LMFP batteries in two facilities located in Anhui Province, China. In addition to its domestic operations, Goshen has been actively expanding its presence overseas. The company has made significant strides in its overseas expansions, including plans to establish a battery plant in the state of Michigan, USA. Also, Goshen has taken steps to raise funds and increase its global visibility by offering global depository receipts in Switzerland last year. This move allowed international investors to participate in Goshen's growth and signaled the company's intentions to expand its global reach. The efforts put forth by Goshen have yielded results as the company ranked as the world's eighth largest battery manufacturer in the previous year, according to SNE Research. This ranking highlights Goshen's position as a significant player in the global battery industry, further solidifying its credibility and potential for future success. The Astorino battery is part of a series of significant battery innovations by Chinese companies in recent years. One notable example is the Blade battery introduced by BYD in 2020. The Blade battery utilizes LFP chemistry, but with a sleeker design and improved energy density, offering enhanced performance and efficiency. Another prominent player in the Chinese battery industry is CATL, which is developing a condensed state battery. This innovative battery technology is still under development, but it holds the potential for further advancements in energy storage capabilities. Among the advantages is the ability for fast charging, 
which could take just shade more than a quarter of an hour, according to Goshen's Chang. He said, you can have a cup of coffee and rest at the charging station, and the battery will be charged from 10% to 80% within 18 minutes using the step charging. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.